Hello, Grateful Spirits. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Camille Lane and welcome to the Grateful Spirit Faith. If you are new to this channel, welcome. On this channel, we talk about God, we talk about Jesus, we do women's devotionals, and we talk about anything encouraging and uplifting for your soul. So welcome to the channel, sis. Super excited to have you. Super excited for all the new faces that have recently subscribed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like these types of videos. I'm super excited to be filming today's video. We are going to be talking about overcoming guilt, okay? This is a common emotion that I know a lot of people in life have dealt with, myself including. So when I take it to Instagram and I ask the sisters over on Instagram, what was something that they were struggling with, okay? What was something that they needed help with in their faith walk with God? And how can I be of service to them? And I got some suggestions and this was one of the first. So this is the first video from that series that we are gonna jump into. And I think it's so good and so juicy because who hasn't felt guilty for something that they either did do, didn't do, or something that has just happened in their lives where they've experienced this feeling of guilt. So I'm super excited to get into this message. Grab your Bibles, grab your coffee or your tea, and let's get into this message. But before we do, as always, let's go ahead and start out in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for bringing us together, Lord. As we come together, Lord, we ask that you ignite our hearts with your love, Lord. Allow us to experience your grace, to understand exactly what it is you want us to understand from guilt, Lord. Allow us to express our feelings to you. Allow us to express our concerns when it comes to guilt, Lord, and allow us to be willing and open and honest with you when it comes to things that are hard to talk about, Lord. We appreciate everything you've done for our lives, Lord, and we appreciate everyone who is watching this video. Bless them, Lord. Bless them in their hearts. Bless them in their lives and allow them to continue to experience your grace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, let's go ahead and get into this video. I have my Bible here. I suggest you go ahead and get yours as well. Um, we are going to be digging into some scripture as well because I do understand that um, guilt is something that we all typically at least have experienced once in our life or maybe we're experiencing right now. Who knows what the reason is that you're feeling guilty. Sometimes we feel guilty, like I said, from committing sin, um, from doing things that we know that God wouldn't approve of. Or maybe it's Things like, you know, not reading your Bible or not spending quiet time with God or not praying or not worshiping and praising God as often as you should. Or maybe you've fallen loose um, in those areas, you know, with God spiritually and you're feeling guilty about these things. When we're in this guilty feeling that we're going through, sometimes we can ask ourselves or we can tell ourselves, like, I failed again. How can I possibly approach God? Like, what does God really think of me? Like, I feel so bad for this. Like, I didn't live up to what I said I was going to do. Or, or maybe you weren't using your words to bless someone. And maybe you weren't as nice to someone or as kind as someone to someone as you should have been. And you feel guilty. Whatever the case may be. It's an emotion that we've all felt before. And you are not alone in this situation. And just because, you know, we become Christians doesn't mean that we're not going to go through obstacles and it doesn't mean that we're never, ever going to feel guilt or it doesn't mean that we're never, ever going to do things that we're not supposed to do and have to ask for forgiveness. Um, it doesn't mean that. It means that we are going to prepare ourselves um, so that when we experience these feelings, what do we do, right? So the ultimate question is how do we overcome guilt, right? How do we overcome this feeling um, that's just so hard on us and that's so detrimental to our spirit and we want God to help us, but we don't know what to do. So there is an answer to guilt, okay? What is the answer to guilt? How do we overcome guilt, okay? The answer is the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, okay? What Jesus did for us, for you on the cross, okay? That is the answer to the guilt that you are feeling right now. And that is the answer that's going to help you overcome this. So one of the most effective ways to overcome guilt is to look to Christ, okay? Remembering the gospel, okay? Remembering what Jesus did for you, for us on the cross, okay? Because we are forgiven, we are redeemed, okay? We have been renewed in spirit and created a new creation in Christ because of what Jesus did for us on the cross, right? We've been forgiven for our transgressions. We've been forgiven for our sins. When we 
look to Christ when we are feeling guilty. Um, one of the main things that we want to do is make sure that we are allowing God into our lives to know why we are feeling guilty. How are we going to look to God in this situation when you're feeling guilty, right? All right, let's take a look at uh, 1 John 1 9, okay? It says here, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, okay? So if we confess our sins, okay? If we confess to the Lord what it is that's bothering us, what it is that's making us feel guilty, what is the root feeling of why you're feeling guilty, where is that coming from, okay? And if it is from a sin that is committed, then we need to confess to the Lord what is on our hearts. We need to acknowledge that we may have been wrong, okay? Acknowledging that you've been wrong um, and presenting it to God and asking him for forgiveness. You know, confessing is ultimately a huge thing because we must confess what our, what is on our hearts, what is bothering us, what we feel guilty for in order to get and receive the type of help that we need from God himself, right? So in 1 John 1, 9, it says here, if we confess, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us, okay? Only if we confess. If you take a look at Micah 7, 19 in your Bible, so Micah 7, 19, he will again have compassion on us. He will vanquish our inequities. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. So God is very compassionate, okay? And he will vanquish all of our inequities, all of our sins, all of our, you know, mistakes. It's all the things that we hold on to, okay? Sometimes we can hold on to a lot of things that just don't serve us. God wants to wash all of that away. He wants to take all that away, wash it all away for you and take that burden, Okay, because we know that the Lord's burden is light. Okay, if we take his yoke upon us, he wants to give us lightness in our lives. He doesn't want to give us anything heavy related. Although we are going to experience things in our lives that come for us. <laughs> literally <laughs> um he is there for us okay when i think of guilt it reminds me of david in the bible and it reminds me of when he committed adultery with bathsheba if i'm pronouncing it right so we know that david committed adultery okay and if we literally i want you to get your bibles and open it up to psalms so get your Bibles. I know you guys have them already. And let's head over to that. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Psalm 32, verses 3 through 5. When I kept silent, my bones became brittle from my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy on me. My strength was drained as in the summer's heat. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not conceal my inadequacy. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Okay, so this is David here basically expressing how it feels to hold on to guilt, okay? I'm pretty sure David felt so much guilt in his heart after committing adultery, okay? Knowing that it's like literally forbidden to do in God's book, he felt, this is him expressing it. When I kept silent, okay, when he kept silent from confessing, what was bothering him, what the sin was, what the guilt was. When he kept silent, my bones became brittle. So he's expressing how guilt can make your bones feel very brittle. And just the feeling of guilt can honestly, slowly, honestly kill you. This is how David is describing it when he felt guilty for committing adultery. Um, his strength was drained, okay? It's draining to the strength to hold on to guilt and not confess to the Lord what it is, okay? Not looking to the Lord to, you know, allow him to come in to wash all of this unrighteousness away, okay? So then he says, I acknowledge my sin. So then he's saying that he acknowledged it and that he will confess his transgressions and that he, you know, the Lord forgave his guilt. So we know that we are forgiven for the guilt, that for whatever that we're feeling, this reason that we're feeling guilty for, we've been forgiven for that. So now we just need to confess to the Lord why we're feeling this way. Like, I'm guilty, God, because, 
you know, I haven't been spending as much time with you or I'm guilty because I did X, Y, and Z and I'm guilty because, you know, I don't know what to do. Like I failed again, God, how can I approach you? How could I come to you? How could I come to you? Um, because I've done this, like, you don't have to feel this way. Like you've already been forgiven because of what Jesus did for you on the cross. Now you need to get to it and you need to start confessing. So the healing process can take effect, right? So now when you look at the beginning of 32, you know, first it's like, then now we got to talk about the good part. So uh, the joy of forgiveness, okay? There's so much joy in forgiveness. Let's just say you're experiencing guilt from, you know, committing a sin, or maybe you're experiencing guilt from, you know, whatever it is. Um, God ultimately wants to forgive you, and there is joy in forgiveness. And in the beginning of... Um, if you look at Psalm 32 in verse 1, it says, How joyful is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. And then verse 2 says, How joyful is a person whom the Lord does not charge with inadequity and in whose spirit is no deceit. Okay. And I always like pronounce that wrong. Inadequity? Inadequity. Yeah. Same thing. But basically, the Lord forgave um, the guilt of... David's sin. Okay. So whatever guilt, like I said before, God is ready to forgive you of this guilt that you're feeling in your heart. So all you must do, my friend, is confess to him. And sometimes when we confess, we have to cry. And sometimes we just walk around every day with, you know, burdens and on our heart guilt, and we don't even know that we hold it. So if you just have to cry it out to the Lord, just cry it out, cry what's on your heart. I can't even just like, I'm so passionate about just God and just like how much he really can like show up in your life and how much he is just so faithful to us when we're obedient to him. And sometimes we can get so lost up in life and we, you know, we don't read our Bibles as much and we get off track and it doesn't mean that God loves you any less because you're feeling guilty and you don't know what to do. It just means that you're asking for help and he's here to provide, you know, written word, written word just for the feelings that you're feeling. So um, reach out to God, you know, pour your heart out to him, cry out to him, confess. Ultimately, we know that he will take all that and throw it into the sea like it didn't even matter because ultimately Jesus paid the price for what he did on the cross for you. So holding on to guilt, holding on to shame, holding on to past failures, holding on to any failure in the future, even though it ain't here yet, you know what I'm saying? Like anything like that, you're already forgiven. You have been redeemed, my friend. And I pray for you. Um, I really just pray that this message is able to resonate with anyone out there that is possibly feeling guilty for anything in their lives. Um, just know that God is here for you. I'm here for you. If you need a prayer request, the email is thegratefulspiritfaith at gmail.com. Also check us out at the Grateful Spirit Faith dot com if you want to sign up for a monthly bible reading plan so every month um i send our email list our subscribers from our email list a monthly bible reading plan and this basically just helps you get involved in the word every day a verse a day if you have a hard time reading your bible get into bible reading plans and sign up it's completely free all you have to do is enter your email address and you'll be put on the list to receive monthly bible reading plans right to your inbox just for free and join our community join our biblical sisterhood so we will be super excited to have you over there um and i'm also going to start doing just like maybe like once a week check-in you know sometimes you need somebody to just like check in with you um like a mid-week check-in mentally you know spiritually just to see hey friend like how are you how can i assist you how can i pray for you so um check us out over at instagram as well and we do post every single day for encouragement for your soul. I'm super excited to be back filming for you guys. I love you guys oh so much. And I'm saying nothing but love and beautiful light to all of you guys. Don't forget to be the light. I love you guys all so much. And I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. Mwah.